to the right. Try to answer. Try to answer. There is a simple logic in the question. Guys, simple logic you have to understand the classic. Yes, before that, just inform me is voice and uh, video is clear for you, right? Say yes, no? Yes, okay. Okay, Vishnu. Good, good. So even in video on the screen, there is no problem for you. You can easily tap which you want to maximize, which you want to minimize, so yes. Madhumita, 20. Okay. Let us see. Shravani, okay. Joshna, Indupriya, 32. Two different answers still. Okay. Yeah, I'll turn off video that will be better for you. Stop now, 30. 30, 20, and 32. 40, first time from Paritra. Okay. You place option here just now. Okay. So, still 16 people can join. If you want to mention to your friends, you can mention them. There are 84 members. Still 16 people can join. So this should be 20. Okay. Different answers. Okay, guys. Uh, now stop answering. Answer one one of my, my question. I have a little doubt. Now, if you collect either some fruits, either grapes or oranges or anything, after it becomes dry or before it becomes dry, which is common in that fruits, which is common in that fruit. Just to mention in the chart box, before dry or after dry, any fruits. Better example, treat it as grapes, after it becoming, uh, I suppose, kismis, which is common in your fresh fruit or in your dry fruit. Water, Pavitra, how can water will be common? Water only evaporates, right? Any fruits, if it become dry, water evaporates. Seeds, okay, Tejashri, one of the point, Uda. Is there any other common things? Pulp, yes, very good, Rishas. I'm waiting for it. Pulp is common, which is not evaporated. In two things, pulp will become common. Few of the water quantity will be common. So if it is a fresh fruit, 68% water, dry fruit contains 20% water. And out of 68 to 20% water, 20% water will be common in two cases. Remaining water will evaporate it. And pulp will be common in out of 100 cases. If you treat 68% water, and the water will be 68 cases, and the pulp will be 100 minus 68. That means 32 cases. Again, some will be equal to 100 cases. Is it clear? Pulp will be equal to 32 cages. Then uh, water will be equal to 68 percent. That means 68 cages. Yes. Now, here you have to add the second point, guys. If it become dry, if it become dry, water should be 20 percent, and the water quantity should be 20 percent. And if it is 100 percent, water quantity should be. 20 percent that means pulp quantity should be pulp quantity should be 80 percent pulp quantity should be 80 percent which is same in both the dry, uh, dry and before becoming dry fresh fruit and dry fruit so pulp 32 cages become 80 percent after becoming dry after becoming dry so overall quantity if you want to calculate 100% of dry fruit, 80% of dry fruit is 32. 100% of dry fruit means how much? Just to cross multiplication again. If you observe, uh, you can understand the importance of cross multiplication, guys. 80% equal to 32, 100% is how much? 
you can treat eliminate this zero eight to four jar thirty eight to four jar thirty eight without any cross multiplication i am explaining you guys elimination of this zero then eight to remaining eight to four jar thirty eight we are also same eliminate this zero and ten into four ten into four it to become forty it to become forty that's it that's it if you want to do cross multiplication you can but it is time waste process guys it is time waste process just eight four so thirty two ten four so forty simple answer but one student answered that forty now it's not eighty check it who answered that forty ravali and you like this one more person yadav and pavitra yeah three persons answered 40 if you solve with the same method it will be very great guys it will be become very great just you have to understand that pulp is common then answer will be clear c40 anishwara yes okay so many people just note down if you have any more doubts you can mention in the chat box if completed even your copying is completed then mention p in the chat box then we will move to the next question okay shadasati Okay, Jahnavi, I will tell you. Maybe you may not understand or you may be missed the session. Just listen carefully, all of you guys. If you have any more doubts, listen carefully. Not only Jahnavi, everyone. If the total fruit is 100 kgs, water quantity is 68. They mentioned here. They mentioned here water quantity is 68. And pulp quantity is 32. Because except water remaining is pulp. In Telugu, we call it as kanda and tangana. See, pulp 32 pages. If it become dry, pulp will never become dry, guys. Only water will be evaporated. Pulp will be same in two cases. So they mentioned that in dry fruit, water is 20%. So remaining pulp is 80%. Both the cases, pulp is same. Both the cases, pulp is same. That's why I equate 80% to 32 they are asking total value of dry fruit, the total quantity of dry fruit, that is 100%. Just we are doing this cross multiplication. You can do this cross multiplication or easy way I explained. If you cancel both the zeros, eight to force 32, 10 force 40, that's it. 10 force 40, no need to do any cross multiplication. Hope is it clear? Jahnavi, now your doubt is clear, right? Okay. Yes, all of you, but it's clear. Yeah, okay. Okay, guys. Now we'll move to some more questions. The next question. Uh, okay, better to go some better questions. Yes, do this, guys. Very important one. So I um, mean, well, how much time we have, we have to utilize it very well. So I'm giving some more questions. This model is very, very important, guys. Very, very important model, I'm telling you. Even without changing the values also, you can get this question. Or if they change, 
instead of bananas, they will give you another ones, apples or fruits or chairs, something. Remaining question will be same. Just to give you a try, just to give you a try. I'll give you a time of one minute, just to give you a try. Because which I don't like in education system is creativity of the students. They never permit uh, students to think, but I'm not like that. I will give you the time. If you solve, every student has the capability to solve a question by sprite. Day three, six. Okay, let us see. Hindu Priya, five. Vaishnavi, five. Okay. Then in first slot, uh, we just have a house full board, but now there are still 12 people can join. No. Okay, let us see. Banu Priya, three. Sangeeta, five. Harapi, four. Suchitra, three. Navali, three. Namata, three. Shaiba, five. Kirtipiya, five. Okay. Anything, four. Deepika, three. Okay, so almost all the options are available in a student's response, in student's response. All the options are given, guys. That's why I'm telling you options never prepared blindly. Remember, okay, I will explain, guys. It's a simple technique. Now, you can answer very well, right? I will just give you a few uh, steps, then you can answer very well. Avenger bought bananas at six per one rupee. So number of bananas are six for the amount of one rupee, for the amount of one rupee. So I will just convert into price guys, just convert into price. Because one rupee is equal to 100 price, you know, just for clarification to make better understanding. One rupee is equal to 100 price. Now, must he sell to gain 20% profit? If he sells six bananas for 100 pies, he will get 100% only. There is no profit, no loss. There is no profit, no loss. With the profit, if you want to calculate, your profit is 100%, there is no extra. But he want to gain 20, that means 120% he need. 120% he need. So 100 pies, 100 percent, it will be same. 120 percent is equal to 120 pies only because values are same. 100 and 100, 120 and 120 values are same. No need to change anything. Now, how many bananas you have to sell? That is the question. But if it is 120 pies, it is six only. If it is 120 pies, it is six only. We have to sell. Then they will get a profit. Then they will get a profit. 120 pies. By selling six bananas, they will get a profit. But according to question, for a rupee, for a rupee must sell. You have to sell it for one rupee. That means 100 pies only. You have to sell for 100 pies. Now, how many bananas will you sell? You are ready to go into sold how many bananas? Then, your answer again 120 pies or six bananas or 20 percent profit so 100 pies how many bananas just to do cross multiplication uh, because okay anyway i will write again how to do cross multiplication another time which are diagonally opposite six into 100 which is a single 120 in denominator zero zero get cancelled six ones or six twos 10 by 2, 
then it will become of then it will become of the t is the method one now listen my method zero zero get cancelled how you got the six from two how you got the six from two one twelve by two half of twelve same ten by two half of ten that is equal to five then this is your answer this is your answer now will you understand my method very very easy way to solve the question just an analyzation observation this all are explained for understanding purpose guys so in the exam you have to just to do this part yes you have to just to do this part 6 or 120 100 how much within seconds you can answer in the exam within seconds just to note down then inform me completed Completed key to be okay. Sorry, okay. Guys, one more thing I am telling you. Uh, I recorded that section. Uh, if any one of your friends are missing, or if you want to check it again, I will share you the link. Uh, you can just watch it in my YouTube channel also. If you type aptitude by Narendra in YouTube, you will get. I will upload it by today. Then you or your friends can watch there. Okay, guys, then let's move to the next one. This is also by looking like it's a difficult question, guys. But if you understand a simple logic, you can answer within seconds, even without pen and paper, also you can answer. I will I will, I will tell you how you can solve with the very easy, easy method. Before that, you can try it. Deepika B. Good. I think I explained in a profit and loss topic, maybe for you. Okay. Anyway, I'll explain this. We don't have that enough time to wait. Simple. A man sold two cows for two ten rupees. For two ten rupees. At a total profit of five percent. At a total profit of five percent. So initial cost price hundred with a profit of five percent. One not to five percent is equal to two ten. You have to calculate the price of each cow. Let it be hundred percent. Let it be hundred percent. And uh, this is two cows price, guys. Remember C one plus C two. With a profit of 5% become 210, 100% is how much? 
just to do the cross multiplication. 105 into 2, 210. 100 into 2, 200. So cost to price of the two cows should be 200. Here the sum is 150. Here the sum is 200. Here the sum is 225. Then where is, what is your answer? Option B. Simple for this question. Uh, few people will explain even 20 or 15 lines. But it is not required, just a simple observation. 105 2 is 210, 100 2 is 200. If you know this logic, no need of pen and paper. This you can easily calculate in mind. 105 double, 100 double. Where you are getting 100. Simple. No done all of you. Yeah, Kishore, in case two options gives 200, then you have to cross verify. Then you have to cross verify by adding 10% and by losing 10%. One you have to add 10%, one you have to subtract 10%. Will you get a 210 or not? Will you get a 210 or not? You have to cross verify that. Too. But these questions and options I just considering from the papers of the uh, November and December question papers only. With the same options, I'm giving it to you. In that case also, you have to cross verify like that. In case for your clarification, I will solve that to show, check it once. Once you add a profit, initially 200, okay. Now 150, if you uh, lose your profit of 10%, if you lost 15, or if you add 10% profit, 15 will be increased. Here, there is a uh, loss of 10%, minus 5, 15 minus 5. You are getting a 10 extra. 200 plus 10, is it equal to 210? Yes or no? That's it. If two options are like that, you have to check like this. For two options. Only one will give 210. Because two prices never have same. Is your doubt clear, Kishore? Yes, good. First time in the class, Kishore asked me a doubt, very good. No one will ask it till now. Because many members may have doubt. I know that. But maybe they were not able to ask some other reasons. Even still, people are having, uh, people are, may feel hungry. That's why they want you to go. Okay, guys, wait for 15, 20 minutes, then we'll end the session. Now, this is a very easy question, guys. I will give you time of 30 seconds only for this. Because we don't have much time. Guys, in method one, 
any of these questions if you want to solve what you have to do is we have to equate b value just note down like this 3 4 bc 7 9 so here value b is same you have to equate b value is same by multiplying with 7 by multiplying with 4 if only two options again c is 2d you have to repeat this process so on so but i will give you an easy method for this if you want to calculate the first and last don't follow this bullshit method guys don't follow this method follow my method first and last multiply all the first numbers three seven five that two don't multiply i will tell you the reason just to write with the multiplication symbol if you multiply you become loose next last numbers four nine seven four nine seven now due simplification due simplification seven will be cancelled three ones three threes now answer will be five is two four threes are two five is two two that's it one step answer one step answer if you are good at calculation if you are good at observing you can cancel seven and seven here also three ones three threes here also then last two two are twelve first number remaining is one five one to two you can apply you can answer by just seeing the question by just seeing the question i explained this for understanding purpose but by seeing the question you can answer it hope is it clear for all this last to 10 minutes is it clear right all of you Yes, Pavitra, okay. Deepa, okay. Vishnu, okay, good guys. Okay, done, done. Now, inverse ratio. Inverse ratio. I will give a time of 10 seconds only. Can anyone answer in 10 seconds by just seeing the question? One, two, three. Very good, Nitin. Very good. Any other? Any others? Shravani, good. One, two, three. Okay. I will put the ratios in between. Okay. Two persons out of 78. Vaishnavi, very good, very good, Vaishnavi. Two, three, six, keep the yeah, good. Guys, by seeing the question, we'll be on the trap. Not, not commonly, not commonly, not commonly. By seeing the question, we'll be in this trap, guys. One is to three is not always our answer. Don't fix for it. Don't fix for it. Then, why why sir they are giving one two three as a first option generally inverse means inverse meaning you have to know inverse means reverse but not left to right top to bottom top to bottom that is called as inverse inverse image top to bottom should be reverse and the ratio one uh, three by two by one three by two by one we have to write in reverse that not means one is to two is to three guys we have to make three as one by three two as one by two one as one by one numerator and denominator should be reverse numerator and denominator should be reverse here these three numbers are in numerator we have to write in denominator that is the meaning of it now if any three numbers are ratios having fractions what do we have to do is multiply with their LCM because the ratio should not be in fraction. Here LCM of 3, 2, 1 is 6. We have to multiply with the 6. 
then six by three become two, six by two, three, six by one, six. This is the inverse ratio. This is the inverse ratio. This is the inverse ratio. Very good. Bhavaneshwar, Bindu Priya. Uh, sorry, Bindu Priya, Banu Priya, Sai Pavitra. And uh, first answered by uh, Vaishnavi. Very good. Very good. Very good. Two, four, six, Kalama. Check once. Banu Priya, it is not two, four, six. Two, three, six. Why you only multiply to six means? Six is the LCM of the given numbers, Mumata. Six is the LCM of the given numbers, three to one. LCM of three to one is six. That is the reason. Is it clear, Mumata, you were Yeah, good. Deepika, uh, I will tell you, 3, 2, 1 can be written as 3, 2, 1 can be written as 3 as 1 by 3, 2 as 1 by 2, 1 as 1 by 1. This is the inverse. This is the inverse. Top to bottom inverse. Now, ratio never be in fractions. Here, the denominators are 3 to 1. The LCM of 3 to 1 is 6. That's why we have to multiply with the 6. 6 by 3, 6 by 2, 6 by 1. Then 6 by 3 means 3 twos are 6, 2 threes are 6, 1 6 two are 6 if you simply. Then answer will become 2 by 6. Is it clear, Deepika? Yeah. Okay, two members are in the same. Mobile, okay, using same mobile, okay. Like this, we may decrease one. What is a pinch? Now, this is also the same, guys. There are only four minutes left. I don't want to I'll give you the time because there is not that much time for us. Now, two, three, four. Here also, we have to do the same way. First, we have to equate in method one 2a is equal to 3b. So A by B become 3 by 2. In the same way, if you write the 3B is equal to 4C, B by C become, sorry, 4 by 3, 4 by 3, 4 by 3. So here the cons constant is B in two cases. B is same. We have to make the B value should be same. Here a B4, here a 2. Multiply with 2 by 2. Then it becomes 6 by 4. It becomes 4 by 3. Now write A is 2, B is 2, C as. If A value is 6, B value is 4. And here also same B value 4, then only C value 3. Then only C value 3. You can write like this. Final answer is 6, 4, 3. 6, 4, 3. Let it not 6, 9, 12. Check it once. Six four three. Here also, I will give you my method, guys. My method, a lesson all of you. What is the LCM of 2, 3, 4? LCM is 12. I will tell you a very simple method, guys. Listen. LCM is 12. Now, simply do 12 by 2. A is 2, B is 2, C. We have to calculate. 12 by 2. It becomes 6. 12 by 3. 4, 
actual by four, it become three. Same answer, same answer, same answer. Don't waste your time by making to equate Russia's feet. Here B value, B constant is same. Here also B constant same. I have to equate B value same. Here B become four. B is four. How I make it four? Two into two only four, right? Two into two, four, right? So if I multiply denominator with the two, numerator also multiplied with the two. Then only values are same. Just I guess are you from Bika? Right? Become our BBA or something. Are you from BSC? But this is the basic method so we will do in mathematics, right? To equate the values. Maybe you forgot because of uh, Corona will clear your brain. Not only you, many of the students, they forget the basics. Better to have a look, guys. One was Singh. Where you got it out, man? Simple. LCM is 12. We have to multiply with the two. Sorry, we have to divide with our LCM. That's it. To find any ratio. LCM is 12. 12 by 2, 6. 12 by 3, 4. 12 by 4, 3. That's it. Simple. The coefficients of C, we have to divide. 12 by 4, you have to write for C ratio. B, coefficient 3. 12 by 3, 4. A coefficient 2, 12 by 2, 6. Same one. Thank you.